How to fix Battlefield 6. Unable to connect to EA servers. Error. Hey everyone. In this quick and easy tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to fix the connection failed, unable to connect to EA servers error in Battlefield 6. If you've been stuck staring at that frustrating message while trying to jump into a match, don't worry, I've got you covered. Follow these simple steps and we'll get you back online in no time. All right, let's get started. So first things first, when that connection failed screen pops up, Hit retry. Do this a few times. Yep, sometimes all it takes is a couple of retries before the servers let you in. If it's working, you'll see yourself placed in a queue, which means the game is preparing to log you in. But if you're not getting into a queue after several tries, don't panic. Here's what you need to do next. Before changing anything on your PC, make sure the issue isn't actually on EA's side. Sometimes the Battlefield 6 servers go down for scheduled maintenance or unexpected outages. And when that happens, no amount of local troubleshooting will fix it. You can check the current server status on EA's official website or social media pages. Open your browser and search for EA server status. Click on the first official link. That'll take you to EA's official server status page. Once you're there, find Battlefield 6 or whichever EA game you're trying to play. If it shows as online, that means the servers are active and running. So, the issue isn't on your end. It's usually just that the servers are packed with too many players trying to connect at the same time. If the servers are up and running, the next thing to do is a quick network refresh. This simple step fixes most connection problems. Here's what to do. Restart your PC. This clears temporary files and resets your network settings. Restart your modem or router. Turn it off. Wait about 30 seconds, then turn it back on. This helps resolve common connectivity issues. Reconnect to your internet. Make sure you're using a stable connection. Ideally, a wired Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi for the best results. Once you've done all that, go ahead and launch Battlefield 6 again to see if the error is gone. If you're still seeing the error, your best move is to keep pressing retry until you finally get placed in the queue. When I tested this myself, I got thrown into a queue with over 3,000 players. So don't freak out if you see a big number. It's totally normal, and it will move eventually. Once you're in that queue, just hang tight and let it do its thing. After a few minutes, you should connect successfully. And boom, you're back in the game. And that's it. That's exactly how you fix the unable to connect to EA servers problem in Battlefield 6. If this video helped you out, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more quick fixes and gaming tutorials, and comment below if you're still having issues. I'll do my best to help you out.